Hi all, this, uh, this is Shweta working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science Engineering at RMD Engineering College. Welcome you all to the uh, lecture series of Artificial Engineering. In today's topic, we will be discussing about uh, types of architecture for the intelligent agent. And um, so there are six types of uh, architecture are there uh, which help to attain the goals of the agent application which are uh, reactive deliberative blackboard a uh, bdi hybrid and mobile yes uh, first one uh, reactive reactive architecture is something like it will solves the simple uh, architecture for agents okay what it will do is it will sense the environment and uh, gets the data and then it will maps and then it gives the uh, output through the actuators to the environment it, it can uh, solve only the simplest um, uh, architectures okay so it is in uh, uh, it can solve the uh, architecture uh, in um, extremely fast manner okay so this is an advantage for this but uh, disadvantages it can it, it can it cannot able to solve the complex problems okay so next is deliberative as it names uh, as in deliberative uh, it implies only the inputs of the some deliberation over the action to perform a given current set of inputs in deliberative architecture it solves all the complex problems over here okay with the um, with the variety of mechanisms including the production systems neural networks or any other intelligent algorithm algorithms it can solve okay so it will sense and it will solve all the complex problem and it will give the output through the actuators to the environments and uh, the advantages it can solve the uh, complex problem but the disadvantages is like uh, uh, it will take more time to solve the problems okay and next is blackboard architecture the blackboard architecture is very common architecture that is uh, also very interesting the first blackboard architecture uh, was uh, heresy 2 which is a speech understanding system this architecture uh, operates around a global uh, work area of called the blackboard so here in blackboard we are having the multiple agent that is reasoning agent sensor agent action agent multiple agents are working over here um uh, the two separate agents used to uh, sample the environment through the available sensors and also go through the available actuators. The blackboard contains the condensed state of environment that is constant, uh, constantly updated the uh, sensor agent which the action uh, performed in the um, action translates this action into the control through the actuators. Yes. Um, the advantages of the uh, blackboard architecture is uh, uh, it can work uh, globally in the work area and easily implemented with the multi-threading system. Okay. And then uh, next is BDI. BDI is belief, desire and uh, intention architecture. So BDI architecture um, is uh, that follows the theory of human reasoning uh, as defined by the Michael Bratton and uh, belief represent yes belief represents the view of the world by the agent um, desire are the goals uh, to define the motivation of the agent and the agent may, ha may have the numerous desire which uh, which must be consistent uh, but uh, finally intention specifies that the agent uses the beliefs and desire in order to choose one or more action in order to meet the a desire so um, and uh, it shows the representation of the states of the environment and uh, maintain the set of goals and finally in, uh, intentional element that may map the desires to believe actions that modify the state of the uh, environment based on the agent needs okay and next is uh, hybrid architecture hybrid architecture is nothing but it's a combination of the uh, deliberative and reactive architecture uh, there there is uh, something like uh, disadvantages in uh, both the uh, systems right so it can uh, in uh, reactive it can solve only the easiest uh, simplest problem but uh, in the deliberative it can uh, work out with a complex problem uh, uh, it takes uh, some uh, some more time to give the outputs right so we are combining these uh, two uh, uh, architecture and we are taking it as an hybrid architecture and next is uh, finally the mobile architecture the mobile is a framework um, uh, that uh, we will uh, have the uh, ability uh, ability for agent to migrate themselves between the host okay so the mobile agent framework provides a protocol that permits the communication between the host and the agent migration 
So the mobile agent architecture is advantageous as it supports the development of the intelligence distributed system, uh, but as a distributed system is dynamic. Thank you.